Darling, you send me. I know you send me. Darling. So at the British School Jakarta, our school is a very transient community and this is one of the reasons that we wanted to look at dislocation. As I'm sure you'll already know, Jakarta is a bustling city. It's a very busy city, but it's also a city of extreme contrasts. We've got um, extreme wealth in some areas, there's culture all over, but there's also a lot of areas of poverty and deprivation. And so we wanted to try and give an insight into um, the lives of those who live in Jakarta, including the lives of those within our school community. And that is very different. While we have got some pupils, most of the pupils who attend here are from very affluent backgrounds. Our links and connections with Sister Kolabisa obviously demonstrate that we also have students in our community who are from very different and, and less privileged or less advantaged areas and so for us it's about creating empathy um, within our student body um, that's going to last them until they are in those positions where they're really able to make a difference and project change and they can only do that with engaging with these um, causes with people from different areas of life and really understanding what problems and difficulties pe other people in Jakarta from different backgrounds have to deal with. So this project, um, Looking at Inanimate Alice, was all about making something for real audiences to share a little bit of what we do here, a little bit about what we are at the British School Jakarta and for anybody who's interested in our story to have a look and, and learn a little bit more about it. We learned about the kids in Sekola Pizza that they have like hard childhood lives because they need to work in like dumpsters and like stay in the sun all day and like walk bare feet. And we noticed that like most of the kids in Indonesia they have like less privileges than us. Like while we like look at our phones and like have fun, they just have work hard in the the dust dumpster. This project has been great fun and we had the chance to improve our technology skills. I like this project because we were doing it with our friends and it was not like the story wasn't told to us but we had to invent the story. So Gold Visa is a micro school which was uh, conceptualised by um, uh, my predecessor, Adrian Thurkel, uh, about six years ago. Uh, the school was set up uh, with the goal of re-affecting uh, the fate, uh, re-imaging the fate of uh, students from local kampongs who did not have access to education, suitable healthcare, um, or um, indeed in a lot of cases birth certificates. So Gold Visa was set up for society to recognise these students and for these students to give them the best possible uh, future um, within Jakarta.